Yo, this is Smoking Willie T coming to you live from my uh, laboratory, I guess you could say. Uh, today I have uh, some racks of ribs. I have two racks of ribs, some spare ribs that I got all cut up and um, took the membrane off of them. And uh, I am going to use um, some Southern Back Rub. Uh, this came to me a couple weeks ago and uh, it's in a vacuum seal sealed pouch. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, rub these ribs down with the with the rub and try it out. Uh, the first thing I use on all my ribs is a what white grill spice from Pit Maker, and it's just the salt and pepper mix that I put on put down as a first coat on on the on my ribs. So uh, once I apply that, I will apply uh, this spice right here. I like to use shifters. Uh, some people just like to uh, shift it on there on their own. Uh, I, I find out that a shifter actually gives it an even coat. So I will put the rub in the shifter and and apply them. So I'll be back with you in just a second and uh, get it all ready and then we'll be good to go. Coming back at y'all. Uh, the first thing I do is uh, put down some olive oil onto the ribs. And the only reason we use olive oil is to help the seasoning stick to the meat. So once you give that a good rub down, and of course you're gonna apply it onto both sides. Then we can start seasoning. And like I said, uh, the first thing I put is the white grill spice, which is a pit maker brand. And that is just the salt and pepper base. Make sure you give it a good, clean, even coat. using the southern back rub. I opened this rub and it actually is real real good. It has a good sweetness to it. that. The next thing you want to do is pat it down. I'm not going to apply a heavy coat to the back side of the ribs, but I do apply enough to give it some flavor. Once that's done, we'll uh, go ahead and flip these things and uh, do the same thing to the other side. Now since these are not competition ribs, um, I went ahead and left the fat on them. Usually uh, you try to take off, take off as much of it as you can, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and leave them on because these are just basically what we call throw downs. Other people might use mustard, and basically it's the same principle, it's just to help the seasoning stick to the meat a little better. It doesn't really have any kind of taste effect on it, if you ask me. And then on this one, I'm going to apply a little heavier coat.
all pit maker products you can get online pitmaker.com they have a wide variety of different spices I prefer to use on a lot of my different meats give that a pat down you never really don't really want to rub the ribs and you just pat it down again everybody uses different techniques this is just one thing that I've learned Yet, um, usually I tend to do the sides also. So as soon as I finish this, I'm gonna complete them and uh, rub the sides down. And there you go. Usually, what I do now is uh, I'll set these, let these set for about maybe. 20 minutes out in, you know, I like setting them out in the sun because then it starts helping them sweat and it will give them that nice red shine before I stick them on the pit. So, we'll see how these things turn out once I light this pit up and uh, get it going. Okay. Here I uh, let these ribs set for 10 to 20 minutes out in the sun and it is, uh, they have begun to sweat. And there's that shine I was talking about. Marinating the ribs. I went ahead and put them in chef Paul's bolt. They're heating the ribs. They're gonna be going for three hours at 250 degrees. We'll check on them periodically. I'll spritz them and then we'll wrap them in three hours. Okay, I have uh, taken the ribs out of the, the bolt. I let them set. They went around for about two hours, and this is what they look like. I didn't even have to wrap them in the bowl and pull back on this bolt. So now I am going to wrap them and I'll finish them off, and I'll show you the results when I pull them out. Wrapping process, what I basically do is uh, spray some butter down. I use some uh, raw cane sugar and honey.
I prefer the raw cane because it's uh, granulated and it isn't sticky as baking sugar is. Put the ribs flat down. You can um, lay the other side. And now we just wrap. Once we wrap them, we put them back on the pit for about another 30 minutes. We'll take them out and check and see how they are. All right, after uh, 30 minutes wrapped, I went ahead and then brought the ribs out and unwrapped them. And this is what they look like now. Bones pulled back very well. Good color on these things. for about 10 minutes. I'm going to glaze them and put them back in and finish them off. Okay, I've let the ribs set for another 20 minutes and now I'm going to sauce them and put them on to finish them off. I'm going to be using Pin Maker. Uh, this is Yeehaw. It's a little spicy sauce. I prefer it. I like spicy. And, and all I want to do is put an even coat of this sauce on the ribs. light or heavy. Some people like heavy coat. Uh, but it's at your preference. Loving those ribs. Got you. Nothing, nothing like a nice rack. Good rub. 